ready for some more transforming household items from China? Too bad, I'm gonna do some anyway. Now, so far we've been pretty lucky. They are weird novelties, but they actually turn into pretty decent robot toys. They're not all that lucky. For instance, today, we're taking a look at the vacuum cleaner. In appliance mode, he's a 90s style compact vacuum cleaner molded in red and gray plastic. On the upside, he's a lot less obvious about his dual nature, with the plastic colors kind of conforming to something I wouldn't be surprised to see on a vacuum like this. The paintwork here is limited, but it does what it needs to do, coloring the front panel, including the dials on the bottom. On the rear, you'll find the hose and an actual sweeper, painted up in silver. It's hinged at the top, but otherwise it's just for completing the look. Also amusing, the wheels on it are actually functional. Would not have called that on such an inexpensive toy. And just like the others, his transformation is full of shaky parts and cheap plastic, and some of his transformation elements are outright frightening to use. And really, it's not all that good a transformation to begin with. And the end result is also not all that impressive. When the others change shape so much, it's really a letdown to see this one is basically the same thing but with arms and legs sticking out. The best detail on this dumpy robot is the head, which has an interesting sculpt to it, and I like how most details come from painting the trim. The eye visors were clearly meant to be painted around to the side, so not a perfect job. For articulation, it's again a letdown. The shoulders only move outward, restricted by the shoulder guards, and no proper elbow. The wrists do bend up, for what that's worth. The hips move back and forth, but with no working knees, that doesn't allow for any posing. On the upside, he continues the hidden weapon trend. The vacuum's wand unfolds into a pickaxe weapon, which unfortunately has no cool way of being held due to his low articulation. But maybe the cute mode might be able to save this guy? I mean, surely that had to have come out better? Well, he kind of did, I mean, considering the others. The expression on this one looks very surprised at something to his left. Unfortunately, while his arms are ball jointed, giving him some posability, he has no feet like the others, leaving him lacking as any kind of robot. Definitely not on par with the others. It's limited articulation, poor transformation, and even the cute mode has its flaws. But we can only go up from here. When we open tomorrow's present, We'll try again.